Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, the Chanel's for the It's World. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers. And if you find yourself un... Well, you're not getting my notifications or anything. And you may think you've gotten unsub. Please resub again. How you do that is you unsub, meaning unsubscribe. And then you subscribe rapidly back, okay? Because sometimes Facebook be doing a lot of crazy stuff. And YouTube be right along with the mess, okay? The fakery, the fuckery, the foolishness, and the fraudulent behavior. Okay? So I'm just letting y'all know if y'all find y'all not getting my um notifications, y'all y'all not seeing my videos when I drop down, go on and check your phone and do it. Unsubscribe and resubscribe. And don't forget to touch that notification bell. Sign up for that too. So you'll know when I drop new content and you can come on over to the house and participate in the conversation. Because that's what we got to have today. A conversation. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and like all of my videos, okay? Every last one on me. Then go over to the other channel I've been trying to tell y'all about. Okay, I got one more. I got one more yesterday. Can I get two more? Can I get a hallelujah for five more? Oh, praise God for 18 more. Can we go over there to make it make sense? Okay, because I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to understand why y'all ain't went over there. What's the problem? Go on over there now and do it for your girl. But yes, we have to have a conversation. <laughs> we gotta have a conversation. Yes, because, honey, a person can wait a whole year of thinking about how they were so much de de what do you call it dehumanized and just not human, you know? And if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Will Smith and Chris Rock. Okay? Chris Rock said he had nothing to say. But when he got to pondering about that thing and he got to talking to his biological family about that thing and he was like, okay, I'm going to just chill for a while. Because to me, honestly, I would have had Will Smith up in jail. <laughs> and the only way I would let him out if he definitely, ooh, what do you call it, finesse my bank account. That's all I got to say. He was going to pay for that. And luckily, he didn't try to fight Will back because that would have been a, a, a we call it an over and done thing. Woo! But he, I tell you, he played it smart, meaning Chris Rock. He played it smart. And old Lion Diddy talking about Chris Rock and um, Will Smith made up. I'm like, what is, where is he coming from? He didn't have no artists up there. I was shocked to see him. And his fruity self. I mean, he just need to just step on out and just say, hey, I am what I am. Love me or leave me. You know, it just is what it is. He could say I'm bisexual. Or he could say, hey, I'm truly gay. And I like it. You know what I'm saying? Because the rumors are never going to go away. And the eyewitnesses that I had accountants of seeing you with men is uncanny. And it's the same thing with Will. He's been having those... Um, those uh, rumors circulating about him and P. Diddy, P. Diddy and Usher. And I'm like, everything that's done in the dark will come out to the light. I mean, hey, I would just clock my own teeth for somebody else. Clock my teeth for me, okay? But, child, yes, Chris, I, I, hey, I have to, like, give him a high five. Because me, I would have been whipping on that behind of Will Smith. 
We have been running like four elephants up there, okay? I would have just been trampling on his ass. Ooh, I would have been, ooh. I would have been something. Uh, I would have been a psycho so I shot up so I can tell y'all. <laughs> Well, we, they would have had the paddy wagon coming to that Oscar. They would have had people coming from sitting in the audience to up on that stage to get me off of Will Smith. I'm just telling you, because once he did that, and my dentures didn't fall out of my mouth. <laughs> Woo, if they did fly out of my mouth, I'm like, yo, oh, you really going to pay now. You talking about somebody going to have a beautiful smile. And I really, I needed to get my teeth redone anyway. Girl, I would have been, whoo. It would have been something, something, okay? That's all I'm saying. But the man, I give him the golden prize, the golden ticket, because he came back with a vengeance on his um, touring that he's doing his show, and Netflix is sponsoring a job. I was like, oh, my goodness. He titled his stand-up comedian show Selective Outrage, and that was perfect. You talking about? perfection at its, at its best and then he's gonna bring it around the time that the oscars are circulating to start back up again oh honey whoever did that marketing marketing idea for him he need to always keep them employed until they die okay because that was a true marketing genius way of getting folks to go to his concert or stream it on tv whatever the best comeback uh, i tell you all the people that can get people straight is the Lord and I guess some people on earth. Because that was, I'm telling you, that was a remarkable idea that they had to launch Chris Fox's show, titled it Selective Outrage, and then go in. I mean, go in and let have on uh, uh, Jada Pickett, Will Smith. Hell, he could have got the other family parts members too as well. Because when he did that slap, his son Jaden said, "Okay, that's how uh, the Smith family get down." So how are y'all liking that now? How are y'all liking the Rock family getting down on y'all behind? Y'all busy behind? Y'all dusty be behinds? And we, I hope you learned something. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can never hurt you. Okay, so whatever he was saying, you know that man is a comedian, and he really didn't say anything. I would have felt as embarrassed. And he just said, he'll see your wife on the next G.I. Jane movie, okay? I mean, even Jimmy Moore had her hair shaved off to perform that particular uh, acting uh, with the uh, story uh, or the movie of G.I. Jane, okay? So I, don't, I really don't understand. See, Jada got you like a puppet on the string. She just, you, you, you her little marionette, she's just having you go east, west, north, south, or whatever. I'm like, boy, just divorce her. And y'all can live in the same house. Y'all can still share the same bank accounts. Y'all wouldn't be really losing anything. But y'all be willfully being able to go and date and, and, and fuck or whoever you want to do it with, you know, without any uh, guilt feelings is what I'm saying. But honey, let's get into the story. I don't ramble enough. I don't told y'all what I felt. And we're going to go and see what New York Post had wrote up. And then we're going to hear some a little audio here, here and there. Um, but we get it from, let me see who wrote it. Anika, uh, we're going to say an S because I can't pronounce her last name. It looked kind of Russian, but I'm not sure. Okay, but her first name is Nika. She evidently is an independent contractor, writer, journalist for the New York Post, or she may be actually one of their employees. I don't know. It really doesn't matter at this point in time, okay? But anyway, um, she titled her article, Will Smith Embarrassed, Hurt Over Chris Rock's Comments in Netflix Special Report. Now, ain't that a bitch? He not only got his own special, but Netflix is covering it. They're giving him a little coin here and there, and they're making stuff. They're making money off of you, Will, now, of you. Because you can't tell somebody how to come back. If you shot somebody with a bow and arrow and Chris come back with a whole damn canyon, then who, you know, what you going to blame? Who you going to blame? You should have came better prepared for the fight. But you didn't. You thought you had did some of that little slap, even though I think it was just rehearsed and it was something that was supposed to happen. Maybe the elites wanted I don't know what they wanted at the time, but I'm sure they got it, okay? I'm sure they got what they wanted when you went up there and did that most childish thing, which you should have went to jail for. But, okay, we got selective privilege for rich 
Hollywood people, okay? As long as you're rich, you're well-off, you're well-established, you can get away with any type of infraction that a normal citizen that pay taxes every day, they wouldn't get away with. Because I promise you, if that was me on that stage, I would have been rolling with you, brother. We've been rolling on the stage, off the stage, uh, rolling down some steps. Just, you know, our body's going to be aching as we're doing, but we got that adrenaline going. Then I would have said, now put me in jail. <laughs> but I'm going to bail myself out. My family's going to come get me. But anyway, let's go to the article. It said, all eyes are on the slap heard around the world again at Oscars 2023. Looms this coming Sunday. Will Smith was left embarrassed and hurt over Chris Rock's comments in his latest Netflix special, which reunited the controversy, according to a new report. Now, why Will Smith is getting so upset, I have no idea. Because it, if it was good for him then, it should be good for him now. Chris is just answering. <laughs> he was, you was knocking at his door when the shit happens a week or two after the fact. And he didn't answer. But now he is answering your knock. And he's coming loud. Loud. I mean seriously loud at your door. And you're not picking up. You're not picking up, Will. What's going on, dude? What's going on? But anyway, going back to the um, article. It says the famous funny man used his latest stand-up special to verbally clobber Smith for slapping him on stage at last year's Oscar uh, ceremony. Which he would definitely be in his right because mm -hmm. he could have prosecuted you. He could have said, Take him to jail. I'm going to file uh, assault charges right here, right now. But I'm pretty sure all the who's who and uh, the elite said, No, we need to handle this another way. Yes, we're going to have to be dealt with, but we got to do it out of the public eye. So they took a year off. They told Chris to handle it however he wanted to. But he could not put his hands on Will Smith. Okay? And he did it. He did it, honey. Because if anybody don't call a clip, a clip, uh, a clip or a real click on what he was saying in his comedy act show, Honey, I just like, bravo, baby, bravo. You didn't even have to touch him because those words cut deep. And I'm like, he even got on, um, what do you call it now? I'm finna call it Willow, but he got on uh, Jada. And I didn't feel sorry for her either. I did not see her feel sorry for her because she could have stopped her man from going up there. She could have got loud just like he was getting loud. Talking about keep my, um, keep my wife's MS name out your mouth, you know, whatever. She could have stood up and said, we'll sit down. Or, no, we finna go. She could have quickly diffused that uh, that scenario. And he would have listened to her because he that stupid. Okay? Or when he got up, she should have brought him, you know, got a hold of his coat jacket and, and, and set his ass down. You know what I'm saying? So we'll we'll fight it legally. That's what we'll do. Uh, because he's definitely harassing me. I mean, think about it. Okay? But Will didn't think. He was just reacting. And it had nothing to do with him because he was up there. And everybody saw it on film. He was up there laughing and, 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 and ha ha kiki. And then he looked at his wife and she was looking miserable and uncomfortable. And he felt like he needed to go up on that stage and do what he did. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, Lord. Okay. Ooh, child. Anybody else? I told you. You've been in jail, Will. You would have been in jail. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, among the mirrored... Among the myriad of digs at 2022's Best Oscar uh, Actor winner in his comedy special titled Chris Rock's Selective Outrage, Rock left no stone unturned as he recalled the moment the fresh Prince of Bel Air actor struck him across the face. Will is embarrassed and hurt by what Chris said about him and his family in his next Netflix special, a source told Entertainment Tonight. He didn't watch it, but he had people telling him what Chris said. The insider went on, adding that Will and Jada have seen comments about it. No, they just faking the phone. They saw this shit, okay? Ain't nobody gonna believe that. Ain't nobody gonna believe that they just, you know, honestly did not want to give energy or sit down and watch 
him call them every kind of name. Yeah, yeah, they watched it. The kids watched it. The cousins watched it. Hell, his mama probably watched it and told him. But like I said, when you come to a fight, you better come to uh, totally obliterate that person that you're trying to bring down. So you don't bring no water gun. And then Chris come out with a super soaker. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Whoo, he had a whole year to think about that slap and a whole year to figure out what he was going to do to you legally. Okay, pretty much he done sat and put your tombstone six feet under the ground, honey. That's basically what he done did to you and your family. But going back to the article, it said Smith reportedly feels Netflix made a distasteful move airing rock special. So why do you want to take a bread out that man's mouth. Why you want to take bread out that man's mouth? You did what you had to do at the Oscars. He came back on you on one of his Netflix specials. <laughs> so anybody you should be mad at is yourself first. And then you can ask uh, Netflix why they uh, accepted a, an assignment from Chris to air on their platform when he knew it was going to bring up old, you know, scenarios and to bring up the whole uh thing that i slapped chris yes because it's not going to go away now it's still going to be in the, the people's mind that you did what you did but they're going to be like oh, but did y'all see chris rock come back at him the combat was marvelously perfected <laughs> that's what's going to be said you lost again will smith by putting up with your wife now you know, he didn't hit her. That's his words were coming out of his mouth. And from what I understand, they have always been this banter between them two. As long as he didn't touch them, he could say whatever he wanted to say. Okay? But anyway, um, going back to the article, it said um, the Post had reached out to Smith's reps for comment. Meanwhile, the Academy Motion Pictures Arts and Science have announced a special crisis team to help avoid any similar beatdowns on Sunday ceremony. Bill Kramer, who took over as CEO of the academic Academy, I'm sorry, and July 2022 revealed that the designated team will be ready to spring into action at the March 12 ceremonies if things go awry. But see, y'all did not, y'all did not have to wait a whole year to have security on deck. Y'all should already had security on deck. When you saw Will get out that seat, people should have been rushing to prevent him to come on that stage. But hey, something that never happened. Happen. <laughs> so now y'all trying to do damage control. Honey, Chris ain't got pain no fool. He is not no fool. He knew he was outmanned because Will was towering over him. Okay. But he know that mouth is something that cuts deep too. All right. But anyway, going back to the article, it said we have a whole crisis team. Wait a minute. Uh, something we've never had before, and many plans in place, Kramer said. We, we have run many scenarios, so it is our hope that we will be prepared for anything anticipate right now, but that we're planning for just in case it does happen. <laughs> Woo! And I'm like, no, nah, buddy. Okay, for uh, his part, 2023 host Jimmy Kimmel had vowed to beat the ish out of anyone who attempts any violent funny business under his watch okay let me let y'all listen to uh chris just a little bit if i can find it uh come on give me a little audio okay commercial first oh please i'm april you know anybody that says words hurt has never been punched in the face. He started off with jabs and then got juggy with it right to the jugular and for Jada. She hurt him way more than he hurt me. A year of pent-up silence from Chris Rock erupted on stage. Because everybody knows what the f*** happened. Everybody that really knows. As Chris insisted, the real person that Will should be mad at is his wife. After she cheated on him with R&B singer... August Alcina. And his wife was f her son's friend. Okay? Well, bam. Okay. Now, Will and Jada had addressed that affair on Red Table Talk back in 2020. I got into a different kind of entanglement. Mm -hmm. 
with August. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship. Will Smith practices selective outrage. I didn't have any entanglements. Everybody in here has been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. I tried to call the give him my condolences. He ain't pick up for me. Everybody called him a And who's he hit? Me. Chris also appeared to single out Will's tearful appearance last year on The Daily Show. That's not who I want to be. I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. You will never see it. Never gonna happen. I couldn't believe it that I love men in black. No. Now, Chris did not stop with Will. In fact, he ended the show with it. Before that, he took on Meghan Markle's claims of racism in the royal family. I'm like, hey, if you're black and you want to be accepted by your white in-laws, then you need to marry a Kardashian. Because they accept everybody. Chris's live show was all the talk at L.A.'s famed The Comedy Store, where Arsenio Hall gave us his take on the title, Selective Outrage. It, it means that you could say something to me right now, and I could kiss you, and somebody say the same thing to me later, and I say, i kill you. You know, um, that's selective outrage. There's a producer at Extra right now saying, can't use none of that. Nah, mm-mm. Fellow SNL alum David Spade told us Chris was ready for Netflix's first ever live event. Chris is one of the top tier best out there. He had an hour ready. It's not always the case. Dana Carvey weighed in on the timing of the stand-up show. Was it an accident? It's right before a one-year anniversary of the slap heard around the world. Even Alex Murdoch's is trying to get this show. And today, the man whom Will played in his Oscar-winning role in King Richard, Serena and Venus Williams' father, is speaking out on Good Morning Britain. Do you still stand by him? Yeah, I will stand by him. I think he's done the best way he needs to do. I know we discussed with Miss Smith. Matter of fact, I appreciate Miss Smith. Just last week, Will made his first award show appearance since the slap at the African American Film Critics Association, where Will shared the lessons that he learned playing a former slave emancipation. I will go back to you. It makes me teary right now. Right? And there was a part of me that was grateful, right? That I got to really understand. Courtney B. Vance and wife Angela Bassett attended the event. He spoke with Melvin at the American Black Film Festival Honors event last night. Do you think now, as a community, now that he said his thing. Will said his thing. Do you think that we'll be able to finally, like, just let this go? It'll go when it's go. It's time to go. Uh, it was a very traumatic thing we all went through. Um, uh, for as a community, black, white, whatever, as a Hollywood community, it was a very big thing. And, and that's all we got for now. Bye bye.